What's good, everybody? Um, yeah, so are you a new rider? And are you worried about keeping your scooter in tip top shape? Well, here are eight tips that you specifically should know to keep your scooter looking and feeling great. The first is get to know the ins and outs of your scooter. Uh, and when I say that, uh, most newbies concerns occur or happen within the first few days of owning their new scooter. And with the help of just reading your owner manual, most of those concerns will be addressed. It's your job to get familiar with all the scooter's controls and the switches. The second is fill it and use it. And what I mean by that is it's important to run through the scooter's first tank of gas pretty quickly because uh, fuel can begin to go bad after like a month. When fuel goes bad, it starts to turn into a gel which drops to the bottom of your tank and then it can start to clog up your carburetor. Not a good thing. The third tip is make at least your first service check. Every new scooter needs their first service check within the first 300 to 500 miles. And w side note, most warranties require this check in order to properly confirm that the scooter is running nice and smoothly. So if you want your warranty to stay awesome, well then you must uh, get your uh, scooter checked. The fourth tip is I make it shine, people. A clean scooter is a happy scooter. The best type of wash is a gentle wash. So a nice towel and a, a soapy bucket of water works best. The fifth is fill your tires. Scooters are safer and perform better when your tires are properly inflated. The sixth tip is keep it charged. Keep your scooter charged during long periods of storage. For example, if you have your scooter in storage for longer than two weeks, you need to charge your battery or recharge your battery. The seventh tip is keep it on. And what I mean when I say keep it on is to start your scooter and allow it to run for at least five minutes once a week. So say you decide, oh, this week I'm not riding at all. Well, you should at least go outside and turn the scooter on and start it and let it just run for the next five minutes. Because uh, if you don't use it, well, then it, why, it will slowly start to stop working on you, basically. And the eighth and final tip that I want to give you guys is avoid the rain. Uh, I don't mean just while driving, driving in the rain. I mean letting your scooter just sit in the rain uh, to keep water from getting in places you really don't want. You need to cover your scooter. And that's if you can't store it in the garage. So um, it's, not a, it's not a good idea to keep your scooter constantly exposed to the elements, no matter the season. So that's it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you for watching Ramen on Wheels and I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.